I am Dr. Urid Ghosh. I am speaking from Manipal Broadway Hospital. I am an interventional cardiologist and the cath lab in charge of this institute. Today I will be talking on automated internal cardioverter defibrillator or AICD which is commonly known as ICD. We in our surrounding are often hearing very sad news of sudden cardiac death and ventricular tachycardia and ventricular fibrillation which are considered to be the most dreaded tachyarrhythmias or dysrhythmias of the heart that means the heart pounding abnormally high is one of the reasons for sudden cardiac death. We have come across some devices which we see hanging from the walls of the international airports, hotels as well as some of the railway stations and bus terminuses which are known as AED and this AED devices has a sign of a thunder on it. So this is a device which can shock a patient if required and if a patient collapses in a public place you can use this AED to salvage this patient. Taking out the pedal and touching it to the chest of this collapsed patient will give you an idea what the patient is undergoing and if it finds if the device finds the patient is undergoing a ventricular tachycardia or ventricular fibrillation it will ask the rescuer to shock the patient this is known as AED it is never possible for us to put this AED at every corner of the streets especially in resource poor country like India so what we want to do is for a patient who is prone for sudden cardiac death due to ventricular tachycardia or ventricular fibrillation, we bank on a pacemaker like device which is known as ICD. The ICD device can shock the patient from inside the heart and it has one battery and two leads or one lead. No, and depending on this, we say it to be a single or dual chamber pacemaker and the cardiologists decide whether the patient fits for a single or dual chamber pacemaker. So we want to discuss what are the indications for an ICD or who are the patient who will benefit out of an ICD. So first we should be knowing of some genetic disorders such as Brugada syndrome or long QT syndrome which are some genetic disorder in which the patient are prone to develop VT and VF and are prone to sudden cardiac death. Usually we find long QT syndrome in younger populations and Brugada syndrome in middle-aged populations. There are some other indications for an ICD. Commonly we find ICDs to be implanted in patients of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Uh, in patients of HCM the most common indication for uh, putting in an ICD usually is hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. This is a genetic disorder in which we find that the heart muscles are abnormally thickened. If a patient of HCM develops an unexplained loss of consciousness, we try to figure out what is the cause of this sudden loss of consciousness. If you find that the cause is a ventricular tachycardia or a fibrillation or if the patient is a survival of sudden cardiac arrest due to ventricular tachycardia or fibrillation, we meticulously follow up this patient and we go for certain investigations to find out whether he is a perfect candidate for an ICD implantation. The next indications for ICD implantations are various type of cardiomyopathy. By cardiomyopathy, we mean that it is a problem of the heart muscles. So it can be so that the heart pumping is extremely weak. So any patient who is having an ejection fraction of or a heart pumping of less than 35% and having an unexplained loss of consciousness might be having it due to a ventricular tachycardia or fibrillation. So upon evaluation, if we don't find any reversible cause in these patients, we implant these patients with an implantable cardioverter defibrillator to prevent sudden cardiac death. Immediately after a heart attack, if a patient has ventricular tachycardia, we don't jump in to put in an ICD. After doing the angioplasty for a heart attack, we wait for at least 6 to 7 weeks before we decide to implant an ICD in these patients. Regarding implantation, ICD is a very safe surgery. It is a device which is like a pacemaker implantation technique and 
the patients usually are discharged by day two of their operation and they are fit and ready to go to their regular activities after two weeks. So to conclude, I should say that AICD is a life-saving device and if it is implanted in a properly selected patient, it will prevent sudden cardiac death. Before ending, I should say AICD is not a fit and forget device. After implantation of an AICD, you should be regularly monitoring with the implanting cardiologist and that will make life easier for you. Thank you.